Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope you're all having a wonderful holiday. Um, one of the things that the Lord had really wanted to, uh, me to share this morning was uh, the verse uh, Hebrews 3.13. But encourage one another day after day as long as it is still called today so that none of you be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. And the verse Matthew 6, 11, give us this day our daily bread. And again here in Hebrews 13, 8, Christ Jesus is the same yesterday and today and forever. And so as we are about to go into a brand new year, um, I just want to say I think one of the best things to start off with uh, this year would be uh, the salvation plan that God has uh, come to the earth to give us and just going through Christmas uh, you know the focus is totally on Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and um, if any of you have found that it was a hard Christmas then um, I'm uh, it's sad to say that sometimes that this stuff does happen but at other times in our lives there are a lot of wonderful things that happen in our lives but sometimes it's going through those difficult things that we will really lift up, uh, you know, our prayers and our hearts to the Lord Jesus so that, uh, you know, he will hear our prayers. He will answer our prayers. And even though they sometimes may be in ways that we would never have ever thought possible or uh, sometimes maybe we miss what God is when he is answering our prayers. And this does happen sometimes, but he answers in a way that is best for us. You know, a lot of times <laughs> we, we think some things are best for us, but they're really not. And so I really just hope that um, as you take this time to open yourselves for, uh, you know, the Lord's plan and, and his purposes in this day and age, you will be blessed. And I was thinking about it years ago when I had given my uh, life to Jesus as a very young woman of 23 and I have never been disappointed I had that it was like a honeymoon stage you know when I had given my life to Jesus Christ you know as Lord and Savior of my life and I felt like I was seeing the uh, world through new eyes you know, it was like a new excitement, almost like a small child, you know, when they're small, they're, they're happy about all of these things that happen in life, you know, with games and, and toys and those sorts of things. And when you give your life to the Lord Jesus, a lot of times it is like that. It's like another, another stage of, of just complete joy because you're just so amazed at how a lot of times God will change so many things in your life. But then as you grow as a Christian, sometimes things kind of just wane or you can feel a heaviness from the world that comes into your life or, you know, difficulties in relationships. And we see these things going on with the government and stuff. But as we focus on Jesus, that honeymoon stage of a new Christian come can come very deeply back into our hearts, into our minds, and into our circumstances as well. And so as we begin this new season of this new year coming up, 2023, we can let go of the old ways, the disappointments and, and expectations that we've had of 2022. And so as I... Um, share with you uh, some of the things as a new Christian sometimes. Like I said, it will be like a honeymoon stage, but then gradually the Lord will open your, your eyes to new things that he wants you to walk through. And sometimes they are stretchings that happen, you know, to stretch in our muscles so that we can be stronger in our relationship with him. And it's just like this tree here that we have at Christmas time, the reminder of the Lord Jesus. He wants us, you know, because he gave his life on a tree, the cross of Calvary for our salvation. And that's why we have that tree at Christmas time, to remind us of what he did on the tree, that cross. He gave his blood for us. He shed his blood for our sins so that we could be forgiven of all of our sin. You know, 
He nailed all of our sins on that cross of Calvary. And so this day, um, if anyone would desire to give their heart to the Lord, this is something too that uh, uh, the salvation plan is for people. And you know, like the first step is say, Lord, forgive me for my sins and save me. And two, help me to turn away from my old ways of doing things to follow you. And three, you know, number three, I believe in Jesus and ask him to be my Lord and Savior. And four, cleanse me with your blood and fill me with your Holy Spirit. And so there, these are the things that we can ask the Lord to do on our behalf. We don't necessarily need to have a real complicated prayer, especially for uh, new believers. <coughs> Excuse me just a minute here. And so where do we begin in the Bible? as a new Christian. Begin with the New King James or New Living Translation or an application Bible, which has interpretations for verses. These are so helpful. I found that so helpful as a new believer in Christ because there's a lot of these and those and we don't uh, really talk that way today, but I found that was, you know, <laughs> the old King James was uh, one of the things that I found was uh, my first Bible, and I didn't know that there were other translations out there that would help me to um, really understand what God would say through his verses. And so, yeah, the New Testament is a good place to start because this is where Jesus first called his followers the disciples. Every new Christian had a beginning just like you may be having right now. The Gospel of John in particular is important because John gives a new Christians and up and close personal look at who Jesus was, you know, and the book of Romans too explains God's plan for salvation. And this is one of the things here, our Bible, you know, like, like the verse that I had uh, read too, give us this day, our daily bread and our daily bread comes from the word of God. You know, we really need that daily because as we start our day with the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, he will guide and direct us. Sometimes a thought will come to our minds and sometimes we might think they're our own thoughts. And as we grow in Christ, we will be able to hear what he would say to us in our hearts, our spirits, you know, and different uh you know, circumstances in our lives, whether it's with our family or a job, you know, or any new person that may come into our lives, you know, like God will guide and direct us. He's doing so many things in our world right now, and he really desires for people to come to him and ask him what he would say about these issues that are going on in the world. You know, whether it's the governmental issues, and a lot of people are so wound up over that, but as we continue to look and keep our focus on Jesus Christ, peace will come. You know, take the time to really worship and praise Jesus because he is worthy. You know, like there's so many Christian worship songs that are on our um, you know, you can find them on the internet and different Christian programs, you know, and uh, they really encourage us. And the more I find myself, the longer I worship before God, you know, at that time in the morning and seek him first, peace really comes deep within my heart and my soul. And it gives me that, it's like that fuel for the fire, you know, like the word of God says to, to fan into flame into flame you know the, the the will of God the works of God you know the plans of God don't let that flame be burnt out by all of the stresses and the struggles and all of what the media says you know because if you continue to look on that it's going to bring discouragement and fear you know there's so many people that are in fear but keep your mind you know keep your mind and your heart you know, fixed on Jesus Christ. 
and you really will be encouraged. And so I really hope that if you have anyone that is in your family or friends, that you will share with them the plan of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who already came in the flesh. He died. He gave his life for us so that we could have life and life more abundantly. And so anyway, I really hope that this really speaks to you today, that you would share it with other family members and friends, like I was saying. And I really hope and pray that you will have a wonderful, wonderful holiday and the beginning of a year that is just before us. God bless.